New today at 5, an unexpected visitor temporarily shuts down a Detroit auto shop and cameras were rolling as police, well, they got involved. Yeah, 7 Action News reporter Smitha Kaloki shows us who paid a visit to the business on Detroit's east side. They call it a zoo here at the Nortown Collision Center on busy days, but today you wouldn't believe who they got business from unless you saw the trail she left behind. We received a call this afternoon that uh, it was a... Detroit police are trained for this. Tough runs after the bad guys. But today, they were left out of breath when the so-called suspect led them on a chase for more than a mile. They came down Van Dyke here and ran up into the collision shop. Who were they after? No, more like what were they after? On the phone in my office, and I look to my left, and I see a sheep running down Van Dyke. And I couldn't, my son seen it, we all seen it. We're going, what the heck? The scared sheep was on the run, leading police down Van Dyke near Outer Drive before fleeing to the Nortown Collision Shop. Employees were caught off guard, but quick to grab their cell phones and shoot this video. A gentleman and I, we corralled it in the corner with a, using a garbage can, and it knocked over pails and antifreeze barrels and stuff, and we finally got it to where we can put a rope around its neck and, and hold it for whoever. Animal control took the unharmed sheep into custody. We're told it had proper tags and shots, so it'll probably be released back to its owner once investigators figure out who that is. There is no normal day in the life of a police officer here in the city of Detroit. From Detroit's east side, Smitha Kaloki, 7 Action News. It had proper tags. Exactly. What can you say? You're going to say it? No, you say it. It was on the lamb. There you go. Very good. But um. All right. <laughs>